Hey, I'm Adam Jusko from ProudMoney.com. In this video, we are going to tackle the often debated question of whether you should pay off your credit card purchases immediately after you make the purchase in order to increase your credit score or whether paying off those credit card purchases immediately actually could hurt your credit score. And based on some of the comments that I have seen from other videos, you might be surprised at my answer. So sometimes when people are new to credit cards, they have a couple thoughts in their minds when it comes to making their payments. Number one, they may be uncomfortable with the idea of making a purchase and then having that purchase just sit there as a balance that they haven't paid off and then they can make another purchase and then that sits there. Makes them nervous to see that balance uh, escalate even though they know they are going to pay it off when the bill comes. So what they do is they just start paying off every single purchase immediately afterwards using it essentially like a debit card and now when people do that oftentimes it may be because they are nervous like I just said but then they might also think or they might also think that if they immediately pay off the purchase that will help their credit score because it shows that they are good credit users and when they make a purchase they will immediately pay it off so that should be good for your credit score right now you may have noticed that on the internet there is a lot of conflicting information so when someone thinks they should pay off every purchase on their credit card immediately and that will help their credit score that's not really true but on the other hand they also might get the information from some people that if they do this it's really going to hurt their credit score because paying off your purchases immediately is going to make the credit card company think you're not using the cards and so your credit score is never going to budge and that's not really true either. So we'll get a little more into the nitty gritty, but the bottom line for this video is if it makes you more comfortable to pay off your purchases immediately on your credit card, go for it. Use it just like a debit card if you want to. If that makes you feel more comfortable, but you'll still get the upsides of a credit card and the fact that you can earn more in rewards and you can build your credit score, you can do that. It's not necessarily the best way to build your credit score and it's not necessarily the uh, easiest way to deal with a credit card because you do have the ability to let those purchases sit there for a little bit before you pay them off. But if that's what you want to do, you can do it. Your credit score will increase and it's not going to hurt you. Now that said, if you are under the impression that paying your credit card balance to zero after every single purchase is the best way to increase your credit score, that is not true. You still will increase your credit score, but it's going to happen at a slower pace than if you simply use the credit card as it was sort of intended, which means you make however many purchases you're going to make over the course of a billing cycle, you get billed, and then you pay off the statement balance in full before the due date. And the reason for that is many credit card issuers are only going to report to the credit reporting bureau euros the last balance at the end of a billing cycle and if you have been paying off all of your purchases immediately and always have a zero balance well then that's what's going to get reported to the credit reporting bureaus and when it comes to calculating your credit score if you always have a zero balance it's going to look like you never used the credit card to begin with and that's not going to help your credit score it's not going to hurt your credit score but it's not going to help it either because it's going to look like you just have a credit account that you never actually touch on the other hand, this is not true across the board. So in some cases, you're going to have credit card issuers that are going to report more than just what that ending statement balance is. Some of them are going to report what your highest balance was during the month. So if you made a purchase at any point during the month and then paid it off immediately, whatever that highest purchase was, that at least would get reported and it would show that you have activity with that account. And so obviously then that would help your credit score because it shows that you are using the card and then you are paying it down to zero. So even if you pay your card down to zero all the time, it's still going to show activity on your credit report and it is going to help your credit score, but it could be a slower process than if you just let some of those balances sit for a little bit and then pay them off in full before the due date and still did not pay any interest. Now I've made videos in the past and so have other people here on YouTube where we talk about maximizing your credit score by making two payments in a billing cycle. One right before the billing cycle ends in order to decrease the balance on your account so that something very small gets reported to the credit reporting bureaus and then paying off the rest immediately before the due date so that you never have to pay any interest. And I always get comments of, this is completely unnecessary. I pay off all of my purchases immediately. I always have a zero balance and I have an 800 credit score. 
And I always shake my head because I've never really advocated for making those multiple payments in order to increase your credit score. In fact, it's not even what I do myself. So it is not a recommendation. It is only a tactic that you can use if you are someone that wants to squeeze every single point possible out of your credit score. Maybe you're going for a mortgage or a uh, auto loan in the near future and you want to beef up that score as high as possible. It is something that you can do, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you you have to do it in order to have a good credit score. So bottom line, my recommendation for the everyday credit card user who wants to build a uh, good credit score but isn't desperate to get that credit score up as fast as possible is just use the credit card as it was intended, make your purchases throughout the billing cycle, and then pay off the complete statement balance before the due date so that you don't pay any interest. Your credit score will grow that way naturally and fairly quickly. Yes, there are tactics to try to get it quicker, but that's the easy easiest way to do it in the way that won't make you have to think too hard about it. But if it makes you feel better to pay off every single credit card purchase immediately after you make it, use the card essentially as a debit card, go for it. It's going to increase your credit score a little slower, but it's not going to hurt you and eventually it is going to get you where you want to go. That is it for this video. Questions, comments, put them in the comments section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to proudmoney.com where we do credit card reviews. We talk personal finance, we talk deals, and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you're not going to go to the website or you are not going to leave a comment, next video to watch, right there.